Still seeing this PC can run Windows 11 because of TPM, CPU, or secure boot requirements? Well, don't worry, you don't need a new computer. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Flyby 11 tool, the easiest way to bypass the Windows 11 requirements and install it on unsupported and older hardware in just a few steps. So let's get started. Flyby 11 is a small but powerful tool designed to help tweak or skip the Windows 11 system checks during installation. It removes or bypasses the need for updated TPM 2.0, enabled secure boot, and older CPU compatibility. Flyby 11 injects the necessary tweaks to bypass the Windows 11 setup, allowing older PCs or laptops to install Windows 11 without issues. Let me stop and state that I would not recommend using this bypass install in a business or commercial setting. There are a few possible downsides to installing Windows 11 on unsupported hardware to consider. So just a few things to consider before upgrading to Windows 11 on older hardware. Here's what we'll need before starting. A Windows 11 operating system ISO file, the Flyby 11 software tool, and please be sure to back up your data just in case there's an issue during the upgrade. Now let's dive into the process. First, let's go grab a clean Windows 11 ISO file by downloading it directly from Microsoft's official website. Scroll down to the Disk Image section, select the Windows 11 Multi Edition, and click Download Now. Next, select your product language and click Confirm. Lastly, click 64-bit download and let it download the ISO file. This may take a bit depending on your internet download speed, so be patient. Now we'll drag the ISO file onto the desktop for easy access on the upgrade. Next up, let's go grab the download for Flyby 11. We'll head on over to the Flyby 11 GitHub page. Don't worry, it's free and open source. Download the zip file, extract it to your desktop, and you're ready for the magic. Now let's get that Windows 11 upgrade rolling. Open up Flyby 11. If Smart Screen prompts you, it's okay to select more info and click Run anyway. Click Start Upgrade now. Drag and drop your Windows 11 ISO file on Flyby 11. Now you're ready to upgrade to Windows 11. Note that the installer says Install Windows Server. This is normal as it's a multi-version installer ISO. It will select and upgrade to the proper version of Windows 11 for you automatically. Click Next and you're off to an upgrade. Now I've sped up this upgrade process for this video, but you can expect anywhere from 30 minutes to hours depending on your computer. Click install and it'll keep chugging along. Your PC might restart or reboot several times during this process, so don't be alarmed. And there we go. A freshly upgraded Windows 11 operating system on unsupported hardware. A few final things to keep in mind here. Microsoft may warn you about your unsupported hardware, but you should still get updates. And lastly, your new Windows 11 operating system's performance should be solid even on older hardware. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel for more Windows hacks, tutorials, and tech tips. 
Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Bye bye everybody.